All right, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what you will be getting when you purchase a uh, spreadsheet from me. So uh, just quickly, uh, there are charts here on the right side, which will display the data that you input on the left side. So we got velocity versus charge weight uh, for the 10 shot load development. We also have uh, testing your first your first test load, so 10 rounds, 1 through 10, so you can see the variation within it. Um, and then getting into checking the overall length car of your cartridge to test that, this will show uh, those sorts of data points. Uh, and then we got a few more here that uh, will show up over time. So um, let's zoom in on over here to check out what you need to input. All of the blue cells are things that you need to input based on your, your chart, uh, based on your selection of components. So just pop in here, put whatever you want to name the rifle. Um, so if you have a Remington 700 or a Hala or Accurus International, if you're going big, um, then put your cartridge here. Um, that so just so you can keep track of everything. Uh, another thing is duplicate the template and name it whatever, uh, whatever you, whatever the project is. So then you can always come back to the template and start over with another uh, set of parameters or another rifle. Um, so once you got that set up, um, go in, put the manufacturer of your bullet, what size, weight, all that kind of information that you want to keep track of. Um, here is a really co quick cost estimate. So uh, you can keep track on how much it's costing you if you are uh, per round. So if you want to see what it'll cost to reload um, all of your your brass, you can just omit the brass or um, any number of other parameters. So input all of that information just so you can keep track of it. Um, go look up the SAMI spec for your right, your cartridge. Um, put that overall length in, keep that case length, just so it's quick and easy to find that data again. The next thing you're going to do is select your powder. So go to a bunch of different resources. Check out the handbooks by Hornady, Nosler, um, Hodgson, you know, all of your powder um, manufacturers, and you can just paste in all that information over here. Um, I may update the sheet over time so it'll it'll uh, give a little bit more direction but put that all that information over here and then you're gonna find your max charge load that you want to test. So this is all set up to make it very simple to calculate uh, what what you're gonna be testing. So for a 6.5 Creedmoor for instance if you had a max charge of 41, let's do 42. You input that there, and then it'll automatically push all of your your charge weights here, so you can keep track of what you did and um, which which charge weights you used. Um, so once you got that, you go out to the range, you shoot over a chronograph, and you start typing in velocities here. Um, so we'll switch over to an example of that. So the max charge was 41 grains and it automatically put in a 10 minus 10% 10 load 8 6 and then this is actually a little under 1% of your total max charge and so that's going to determine your step how much you're going up in charge weight. So uh, I loaded all of these up to SAMI spec to begin with, which for 6.5 Creedmoor is 2.825. Um, I had, I went and I found um, the data for that max charge load. Um, and then all of that got inputted into this chart automatically. So when you're using the 10 shot load method, you're looking for accuracy nodes or velocity nodes because if it's a little hot one day or a little cold you want your bullets to shoot the same velocity. So 
um, we have a very large flat spot here and so I picked um, one right on the top end um, I could test I could definitely test more up um, another couple grains this one's pretty this one's pretty timid so um, you can always add more so you don't have to do 10 you could do 13 and you just want to make sure that you're being careful when you're going up over the velocity and making sure you're not getting any pressure signs that's the biggest thing you want a cartridge that's not gonna screw up your rifle it's not gonna hurt you and it's not gonna hurt other people alright so I selected 41.7 grains on this example so once I picked my node over here I came down here inputted the 41.7 that automatically inputted all of these and it'll help you to remember which charge weight you're you're messing with here um, this number isn't right but um, this should be this number over the chronograph here and you can see that my standard deviation was 9.1 with an extreme spread of 29 I would love for that 29 to be a lot a lot lower uh, so that could be my reloading practices or if you don't like that extreme spread or maybe your standard deviation isn't quite right it might be your barrel so go back look at your reloading practices and then um, you can you can come back and shoot this again and see if maybe it's the overall length testing so let's say that you're okay with this you know you get your your extreme spread down lower or maybe you're okay with that so um, if if you want to just test to make sure that your your 10 shot load development is good and you're you're solid and you're good to go that's fine if you decide that you want to play with the overall length of the cartridge more here's another way to do that so um, go look up other resources for discovering how far it is to the lands within your rifle the lands are the, the grooves that spin the bullet so um, you there's a there's free bore and then the rifling starts so you want to figure out where that rifling starts there's a bunch of different ways to to test it uh, I'm not really going to get into that but uh, I found out for my my rifle I was shooting uh, the land start at 2.91 so I inputted that what we're gonna do is we're gonna shove the bullet 10 thou into the lands right here so once you input this number it'll automatically add that 10 thou into this number here okay and then we're going to back off 40 thou 80 uh, and so on so this will test five different lengths and it will give you the different lengths that you can test so this one is pretty much sammy spec um, so uh, once you got all that inputted you are going to go out and shoot these over a chronograph again um, and then simply input your group size here just to keep track of it uh, you could insert an image into this sheet but you don't have to uh, so just type in your group size here it'll keep track of it and um, then uh, look at your data here let's see here so we got an extreme spread and a standard deviation these are both pretty high so I probably wouldn't want to use that um, but there's continued testing so all of this data here once you shoot it all will pop into here and you can you can visually see where your velocities are here and which charge weights you've been shooting so as you can see right here this guy he's a uh, 0.77 we got a really good standard deviation and a really good extreme spread so maybe this and and also we got a really small group size so this right here is probably where you want to shoot um, if if uh, it functions in your gun and it's shooting really well then this seems like a pretty good pretty good place to be so we're at 2700 feet per second average with standard deviation of 3.7 and extreme spread of 10 that's really good so this 
is what your rifle would like. So uh, your obviously your numbers are going to vary based on a bunch of different factors. This is just an example to show you how the spreadsheet works. So um, hopefully this isn't too too in depth, but uh, I made this so it's very simple for you to input your data and to get some quality visuals over here to see where your flat spots are, to see the variation within your cartridge on your first testing, and then a quick way to test overall length. So let's go ahead and look at some of the references here. Um, so if you want to look at what more of what we have, go to my website, carbonprecision.com slash blog slash news to see what we're putting out. Dan Newberry has the original optimal charge weight reading. That's a great thing to, to check out. 6.5 Guys has a great uh, um, introduction into this. This is where I started to learn more about the 10-shot load development ladder and also the Precision Rifle blog where you can select the best primers, brass, powder, and bullets based on what guys are shooting for the Precision Rifle series. So check those out. Um, let's see here. We also have just a pretty basic list of who's who on selection of components and what type of bullets. So that's just a quick list, nothing too crazy. And then we also have a list of all of the stuff that you're going to need to get reloading. So this would be a great way to track um, where to find stuff and um, what you want to, what you want need to buy and what who you want to buy it from. Um, so I'm just I hope that this template and this spreadsheet helps you out a lot. If you have an issue, let me know. Um, if you think of a feature that would be cool, uh, shoot me an email. Uh, or any sort of message and I'll get back to you and we can we can make this spreadsheet even better so uh, thank you for checking out this spreadsheet if you want to buy it please go to carbonprecision.com and we're running a special right now actually so use independence 2018 coupon code and it will save you 50% off of the consultation and just the spreadsheet so I uh, hope, hope this is informative, and I hope that we can help you shoot smaller groups. Thanks.